Come on in. Fixing my water. Who is in the house? Oh shoot, I got that all over my computer. Hello, hello. Marco. Oh, I think I need my thingies. Sorry. I got this stuff all, I got hot milk mix all over my keyboard. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Hello, Cassie and Sam. Margo, Jackie, Sandra, Joanne, Sarah, Carla, hello, hello. Andrea's here too. Yay. Hello, Jan. Come on in. How is everyone doing? Hi, Venice. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Lizzie's here too. How are my ladies? It's Friday. That's right. Jenny's in the house. Hot keyboard. Listen. I should sh take a picture. I've got hot milk all over my keyboard. Yep, that's a, a lesson. Don't put hot milk in your glass over your keyboard. Okay, you can take that one to the bank. <laughs> okay, you can hear me without the earpods. How about that? Wow. Well, I might just keep that in mind. Good afternoon, Simone and Lynn. I see you. Gwen's there. Hi, Janet. I haven't seen you in a while either. Who else is there? Anita. I see you. Good to see everyone. Good grief. Thanks for showing up on a Friday. It's Friday. Hi, Heather. Liz is here. Liz is here. Norma's here. Yay. So glad you're all here. Thanks. Thanks for showing up, Andrea. She said she liked the a webinar last night. Good deal. Hi, Mia. It was a fun time. I really enjoyed it. We had a good time. I, I have a tendency to get a little bit excited about this because it's such an important thing. Um, you know, really talking about getting our, taking back our lives because honestly, so many times we just toss it aside for other things, don't we? And other people. So it's time to stand up. Kathy's birthday. Hi, Kathy. Happy birthday to Kathy Chamberlain. That's exciting. Happy birthday. Here's to your health and a great year ahead. It's going to be the best year ever, Kathy. Hi, Corliss. Good to see you. Well, today is Friday, which means it's Q&A. And we do have quite a few questions, so I think it's time to get on with it. We also had bunch of you take advantage of this, the Get Lean CLA. And look at me, I forgot to do the thingy. I, did, I forgot to turn it around. That is so dumb. Why do I do that? I guess I get in a hurry. Anyway, um, listen, if you signed up last night and you didn't, you weren't able to come, no worries. You can listen to the rebroadcast. We have, I mean, there's, there's a link in your email that says, here it is, go ahead and take a listen. So go ahead and listen to it. I think it might help. It'll give you some actionable ideas, things that you can put into practice starting today. Seriously, starting today. You don't always have to start on Monday, by the way, <laughs> right? So just take it, listen to it at savingdinner.com forward slash life, L-I-F-E, if you haven't done it yet. Patricia said she's enjoying her vanilla collagen. And that is our Perfect Paleo Protein, by the way, and I love it. It has a really good flavor, a little bit of a caramel aftertaste. It's delicious. So uh, the Get Lean is our, new, our supplement of the week. You put three of those in the cart. We'll send you the fourth one absolutely free, and you put ships free in the subject line, and you will get it shipped to you free as well, as long as you live here in the United States. It's our pleasure to do that, and, you know, we take, take advantages of when we have these great big sales because we are able to buy some supplements in bulk, not all the time because, you know, we're not Daddy Warbucks over here. <laughs> but I will tell you what, uh, when we have those sales, they're just worth taking advantage of. And we have all kinds of people doing that. And we run out. So last week we had the um, Bio Omega 3X. It's gone. You guys wiped it out. So. Just take a look. We have real-time inventory that's right there in our shop. 
you can go to savingdinner.com forward slash C L A. Charlie Leanne Atlanta. <laughs> I make up my own things as I go. But that's what C L A, preconjugated linoleic acid. This stuff is really amazing for belly fat in particular and for the way you metabolize fat in the whole, you know, as well. So there's studies. There's all kinds of information. I want you to see it. You know, go go read about it. It's right there. I promise. When you spend $200 in our shop, you get a mindful mug, a pinkies up cup, absolutely free. Although I've seen a lot of people buying them. Yes, you can buy them. If you're buying something else, we will we'll, uh, cut you a deal on that. So check it out. Because who, who doesn't need a mindful mug? I do. Mindful mugs are everything. So today is Q&A, obviously. Next Friday will be another batch of Q&A. And if you want <clears throat> to get your questions answered, you send them in to Saving Dinner. Support at savingdinner.com and question for Leanne on Friday in that subject line. I'll answer it, because right now I've got nine questions to answer, and you know you're interested in that, right? So um, the other thing, I've had somebody who told me about this marvelous app called AVA, A-V-A. So if you are hard of hearing or you have um, difficulty listening to the broadcast, this is a free app you can put on your phone. I don't know if it's Android and iPhone. All I know is that a listener told me about this and she said it's not perfect, but it sure is helpful. And I'm all about that for free. And I'm all about when we can help and if there's something that we can do and pass on to other people, we're all about that. So it's ava.me. Isn't that incredible? I love it. So somebody's asking, Jackie's asking about a supplement. Yeah, our supplements, listen, as, as we run out, we order more. You know, we are a, in a constant state of flux and we're on top of it. Mark, uh, Mark does all of our shipping. He does all of our inventory, he takes care of all of our product and he's doing a great job. So there you go. Anyway, this, this uh, app that I was talking to you about, um, this Ava app, she used it for um, the mama, the Happy Mama workshop, and she was able to basically grasp most of it. I love that. So if you are hesitant uh, on getting things done like that, and I know YouTube puts captions, so does Facebook put captions. We, by the way, if you're not getting the captions, we have, we've checked the box so that the captions are generated. Maybe you have to do it on your end, I'm not sure. Sammy, so, mean, you know, I will tell you this, Facebook is always changing, but we are also uh, looking for ways that we can support you. So if you ever hear of an application or something that's gonna help somebody who has some kind of disability that would make it better for them, please let us know. We're all ears and we're here to help all, you know, not, not just everybody who has, you know, good hearing and, and all of that, but we are about that. So anyway, um, and by the way, if you can still get that workshop, if you've got kids at home and you're want, or you want to gift this to somebody who has children at home and is starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed as the school year is creeping up on them, you can go to savingdinner.com forward slash mama. You can still get the swag bag. You still get the discount and everything. The discount is going to be ending though. Um, I don't know when, but in the next couple of days. So get on it. Savingdinner.com forward slash mama. Here's our uh, quote of the week, which honestly, don't you love our quotes of the week? I think we've got a good one for next week too. But here it is. Oh heck, I'm not even gonna show it to you. I'll just read it, sorry. Everything's backwards, upside down and forward. We either make ourselves miserable or we make ourselves strong. The amount of work is the same. I sure love that because it really does put things into perspective, doesn't it? We're gonna be doing work either for ourselves or against ourselves. It's just a matter of the decision. Carlos Castaneda said that. Great, great quote. I think we need to get into our questions right now. This first one is from Lana, L-O-N-N-A, I think Lona or Lana, I hope I'm saying it right. She says, thanks for all you do. You're making a difference in lives. I just found out I have stage four kidney disease. I talked to the doctor for the first time today and he gave me good information on some food choices that are good. I'm processing all that he said. Do you have any tips? Are there supplements out there that I should or should not consider? 
So, you know, I looked through all of this and the, the thing that I'm going to say with stage four, when you're in stage four, you've got some, you've got significant scarring and you've got, you know, you've got an advanced disease. So I'm really hesitant to recommend any kind of supplements without a doctor's approval. However, the one thing that I would say that it would be a strong recommendation would be Inflacrusher. We have that particular supplement because turmeric is shown to help with kidney function and also to bring down the inflammation. So there's several things that I would recommend and several things that I would be asking my doctor if it were me, okay? So first of all, as far as how much protein you need to have, you know, the, there's, there's a lot of, you could go anywhere from 40 to 70 grams a day, which is very low on protein, by the way. But what I would do with him is, is based on your weight, your age, your health, and all of that, I would get that number dialed in quickly and find out what the protein numbers are. Um, the other thing is you gotta be careful of things like phosphorus, things like uh, sodium, uh, potassium especially, and um, obviously the protein. So you wanna be avoiding nuts, dairy, you wanna be um, watching things on oxalates too, like spinach, However, cruciferous vegetables are great. Those are the kind of things that I would be looking at. How can I go green without going into the high oxalate place? Hot oxalates are kind of an anti-nutrient and they can affect kidney function. Um, I would also be looking at you know, using a dandelion tea. Dandelion tea is a natural diuretic and it helps to flush the kidneys and it also helps to strengthen the kidneys. So, I mean, at any point, I don't know if you are on any kind of... Um, you know, any kind of medications. I don't know what exactly you're doing or, you know, if you're doing dialysis or anything like that. So it's, it's hard for me to make, you know, good comments. And again, we, you've got to check all of this through your doctor because this is, you know, there are nutritional things that you can do to support your health, of course, with any kind of disease you can. But you also have to work with your doctor because there's medications and procedures that I'm not aware of and wouldn't feel comfortable making suggestions without his, his or her support. Um, one thing I will say to you is keeping your carbs low is a wise, wise idea. Um, even though you could eat more carbs, like for example, eating sweet potatoes, um, having um, berries and cherries, eating apples, all of these kind of fruits and different um, sweet, like I said, sweet potatoes are higher in carb than I would recommend for somebody say, um, who is um, quite overweight and trying to lose weight because you know it's just not necessary. However, there's components in each one of these that are really helpful for the kidneys. So that would be um, that would be really important. I would look at um, your hydration levels. <clears throat> now listen, when I say you should be doing your hydration, it, you, there's an equation for that. If you have kidney disease, that is off. Talk to your doctor about how much your hydration be, should be. With certain kidney patients, their hydration should be the same as their output of urine the day before. You know, think about this. Think about what exactly our kidneys are for. It's, a, it's an incredible filtration system. They go through 150 quarts of blood a day. That's why they're so important. And we need our kidney function. We need it um, working on a par. So when you have scarred kidneys and diseased kidneys, how much more important it is to make sure everything is dialed in. Two big things, blood sugar and blood pressure. And what oftentimes happens, and you didn't mention whether or not you are a type two diabetic because this happens with advanced type two diabetes as well, um, is that you get this kind of a problem. You gotta keep your sugar in check, you gotta keep your blood pressure in check. It, no if, ands, or buts. Just that means if you have weight to lose, it's time to lose it. Because you know, stage five is not is 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 well. Stage four is super serious, but stage five is really bad. Let's keep you from having that happen. Let's keep you in the best possible health, and we do that with an incredibly strong, healthy diet, keeping your inflammation low, keeping your nutrient levels up, keeping you hydrated according to what your doctor is suggestion suggesting, keeping you moving. You want to be moving every single day. I would also be meditating. I would be meditating and I would have a meditation just for my sweet little kidneys. You know, they look like kidney beans. Seriously, that's where kidney beans get. Little beans, they're perched 
right um, in the back, you know, when somebody says he got hit in the kidneys, you know what it is. This is gonna make all the difference in the world and I want you to feel good, you know? Feel good and not have this, this whole horrible thing. And if you're going into dialysis, I have a strong, strong suggestion because it does take a lot of, a lot of time. And that is that you get into some very serious, um, some, spirit, some spiritual books, some put on a headphones, and just get into a, a, a beautiful place in, your, in yourself so that this time is redeemed as you're sitting there going through this whole procedure because it does take a while. And I have counseled people who've had kidney disease before in the past and my whole thing is, and obviously avoiding alcohol, you know, is, is, is absolutely crucial. Um, keeping yourself, your diet as clean as possible. And again, getting rid of some of the high oxalate foods. Um, watching the whole thing. If you have pain and what have you, please use a, a turmeric uh, supplement like InfluCrusher that we have instead of using a lot of Tylenol and over-the-counter you know, NSAIDs. Those things are really bad for your kidneys and your kidney function. Um, so... I think that's about it. And I really wish you the best, Lana. I really wish you the best and I pray, you know, that that um, you're healing, that everything slows down with this and you don't go to stage 5 and that you really stay, you know, in a good place. Okay? All right. That's for Lana. And this is for Karen. She said, "I just received my Leptofix and Crave Crusher." Should I take the recommended one Leptifix and four Crave Crusher capsules all at once before I eat? Take your leptin before you eat. There's so, and I've mentioned this before, and I know that Jenny's here, and we have a sheet that shows you how to take your supplements, at least the supplements that we recommend and the ones that we have in our store. And that is, there are three supplements that are taken aside from having your food, okay? And that's Leptifix, and SAME on an empty stomach first thing in the morning, and then at night take your proactive probiotic before you go to bed because it could upset your stomach, and then the um, all the rest of them should be taken with food or a smoothie or a collagen shot. When you break your fast, break it with whatever it is that you break it with, and that's when you take your your um, supplements. So. When you're taking your supplements, um, your body is saying, oh, more food. You know, it's, you're basically enriching your food. Does that make sense? And it helps your body to process those supplements at the same time that it's processing the food that you're eating. So I always think about it that way, and it just it makes all the difference in the world. The only time that I would say, you know, like for example, I usually put vitamin, I didn't today, but I usually put vitamin C in my hot milk mix, just because it's extra vitamin C, I take two whole grams of vitamin C a day. Don't ever start with that. You start with you know 100 milligrams, 200 to 500 milligrams or whatever, and you work your way up. Otherwise, you're gonna get some amazing diarrhea. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that. Too much vitamin C will do that until you're tolerant of it, until you've built up to it. But it's amazing, and um, there's those are things that I think we should be taking. At some point too, I might do a whole thing on, um, you know, supplements and food for battling viruses, and you know which one I'm talking about. Um, it's it's highly controversial, but I'm telling you, we have a whole regime in place here that I use, and I'm you know gonna I'm just gonna keep it to that. But you know, there are things that you can do for yourself to build yourself. What we're always looking at, by the way. Um, is to make ourselves an inhospitable host to any kind of virus or bacteria. Um, the pathology report came back that anything is good. Okay, so that's what it is. And Jenny has just posted in the chat a sheet for anybody who's taking our supplements and a schedule for giving you this whole idea of like what you need to do and how you need to be taking your supplements. So that would be super helpful for you. Yeah, Julie, I know, wouldn't it be a good topic? Um, and I do have a few things that I really would like to get into the shop, um, simply because they're, I mean, they're excellent. Um, and I also, we're working with a skincare company to get in a hand sanitizer that isn't as toxic as what's out of there. 
Um, I've been using this skincare lately. I'm not so sure that I love it. I like it and I think it's good, but it broke me out a little bit and it feels a little too uh, greasy. So I've got like four other skincare companies sending me all kinds of samples. So I will keep you in the, in the, in the loop when we, when we introduce our new skincare. Um, and I gotta get Marla on it too, because we're gonna do that under the Wise Women's brand. All right, so this is from Lizzie. And Lizzie is our new, I think she's one of our new Take Back Your Lifers. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, by the way, go go watch that. I don't care if you, I mean, if you join or not, it's up totally up to you. But at least go watch this webinar. There's so much teaching on there that's gonna help you to move the needle on your life in a big, big way. And lots of people there last night, savingdinner.com forward slash life, L-I-F-E. You'll get it and you can watch it as much as you want. Make, make some notes, yeah. So Lizzie says, I had colon surgery four years ago. I want to stay polyp free. Is there a way to do this through nutrition? Oh, sister, yes, ma'am. Yes, you are, there she is. Hi, Lizzie. Yes, and we're gonna keep you healthy, Lizzie. Let's drink to Lizzie's health. You know, there are so, do you know how many people I am now counseling today in 2020 versus when I first started in the 90s who have had and gone through cancer? I would say almost half my clients have had some kind of, so cancer is a real deal, you guys, and it is out there. It's, it is looking for a host is essentially it. We want to create in our bodies the best possible nutrition the best possible immune system, and we wanna keep ourselves as best we can away from infl inflammation and as clean and as healthy as we possibly can. That's what we need to do. That's what nutrition is about. It's passing on information to your body and your cells react to it. How are your cells gonna react? Are they gonna act in an inflammatory way or are they gonna act in a way that makes them say, okay, I know what to do with this. That's what we wanna be, that's the place that we wanna be. And for Lizzie, the big thing that I can say, and by the way, colon surgery, it's the most common thing in the world for women. Colon cancer is the most common cancer in women, period. Not breast cancer, colon cancer. I, you know what, I love this, I love it so much. I'm glad, it's not lucky, it's blessing Lizzie, and we're gonna get you into the place of taking your health to the next level. As a Take Back Your Life um, member, you're gonna, I promise you, I'm, I'm with you every step of the way. Big, big thing with colon cancer, with any kind of anything, is that women need to be consci conscious of this one thing. Fiber, fiber moves the things out. Here's the deal. We are always, as we process, as we digest, we're moving food through the tube, <laughs> literally. You know what it is. And we need to keep it, we need motility, we need high motility. That means that it's coming through, we're digesting it, and it's moving its way through, like a train. Toot toot, there it goes. <laughs> if the motil motility isn't there and you're constipated, you are holding on to toxins, you're holding on to all kinds of garbage in there, and it's just basically fermenting and cooking up all kinds of horrible things. We need to be careful of that. Fiber is, of utmost important. Now, Lizzie, I don't know where you are right now with fiber, but my point is, is I want you to start, use our fiber mender. We have four kinds of fibers in there. It is excellent stuff. Start with half a scoop if you're not into big time fiber. That's five grams of fiber. Work your way to a scoop by the end of the week, okay? And stay with that. That's 10 grams of fiber. Then take a look at the rest of the fiber that you're eating. It should be coming mostly from greens. One of my biggest things right now, I'm on this huge kick, is I'm adding artichoke hearts to everything because the fiber is boom, way up there. It is fabulous. Joanne just said she loves the fiber matter. So do I, it just does things for you. I also use chia seeds. I make collagen shots and use chia seeds. Multiple, multiple different kinds of fiber do different things. You've got a pectin fiber that absorbs toxins and moves things through. You've got fibrous and non-fibrous fibers. You have all these fibers and they move things through. Rebecca, you can use it on anything. You know, what I have done before, because you know, honestly, even I do get burnt out on smoothies. You know what I do? I, I just take it 
and I'll put it in a glass of water and down the hatch. I'll just, I just want to get it in. That's it. And then I've got chia seeds. Right now I'm out of chia seeds and I need to, I mean, I'm out of gelled chia seeds. I got the gelled chia seeds and I do that. I make gelled chia seed pudding. But you need to look for ways. Every single meal needs to have some kind of fiber in it. And here's the thing. We're looking at between 30 to 60 grams of fiber a day. 60 grams I think is a lot. I, I, I can't see that. But at least 30 grams. 5% of Americans get 30 grams. And that's what's recommended by the American Cancer Society, right? So that fiber is what keeps things going, keeps things moving through. We also wanna stay away from sugar. We wanna stay away from the inflammatory foods that cause problems. Collagen, by the way, this is what's so incredible. Polyps, skin tags, um, uh, stretch marks, all of these things, all have, and cellulite even, all have a one thing in common. They're a little extra, uh, you know, extracurricular skin from whatever. Fasting helps with that. So I would say you need to be fasting. You need to be doing at least 12 hours from the time finish dinner, don't snack after dinner, and then go to the, you know, go to morning the next day and then break your fast with something that's wise, <laughs> like a, a target trifecta smoothie with that fiber in it and make sure you're hitting all your bases and then don't snack during the day. Let's keep your blood sugar levels low. Blood sugar, you know, when, when we're talking about blood sugar and blood and blood pressure, a lot of times those things, those two things go hand in hand. It's part of metabolic uh, syndrome and a lot of women suffer from this. Even if the doctor's never said that, he'll say, you know, your blood sugar's too high or your blood pressure's too high. You've got way over 35 inches around your belly. That's metabolic syndrome. And that means you are more at risk for a cardiac episode or heart damage or God forbid, heart disease. So, you know, our bodies are not one system. They're all the systems and they, it works together. You know, when one thing is out of whack, the other thing is out of whack and we're out of balance. This is why part of what I do is, um, you know, besides the hydration and the movement and the sleep and doing, you know, keeping all those things dialed in, I also have a meditative practice. And my meditative practice, part of it is, is I have my weakness, my low, const you know, my, the con my constitution has a ding in it and that's my thyroid. You know, my mom had a thyroid issue, so did my sister, so does my sister, thyroid. That's our thing, you know, that's our family thing. But it doesn't mean that it's a, you know, I, I'm gonna have to sit up, lay on the couch. I was on my way to that, but I stopped that speeding train. We're gonna stop this speeding train with you, with a diet that's on point, with having all the things pulled in, including, you know, that's part of the spiritual practice and, and part of, you know, being very cognizant of what's going on with your body, participating with your body. I do this every morning when I do my meditation. I think about my thyroid. I participate with my thyroid and it's healing. And yeah, I still take a medication and yeah, I still do all the things that I need to do in order to keep myself out of harm's way. But you know, this is part of being um, proactively involved with your body and with your health. You gotta be in touch with it, you know? And that might sound kind of ooga booga and maybe a little bit too woo for some people, but okay. That's how I look at it. This is the most important thing that we can do. It's huge. So keeping you in green, keeping that fiber levels up, keeping your hydration on point, keeping the blood pressure and the blood sugar low, losing the weight as necessary, keeping movement going, getting the appropriate amount of sleep, all of that is gonna play into how you feel and it's gonna bring your risk down, okay? Um, so there's your nutrition, supplements, Infla Crusher, Fiber Mender. I would absolutely do um, our Perfect Paleo uh, Protein, the collagen, absolutely. And, um, you know, I will have to look through and see, you know, once we, you and I have our meeting, I'll go through and make some other um, suggestions on some things that you can do. But these are the things that are gonna make all the difference in the world. Julie, I'm not, um, Julie's asking, what do you think of drinking fresh celery juice? That's the medical medium, and um, it's very high in potassium. I know that much. I'm just not big. Um, I have done juicing before in the past, and I probably will have another little juice stint. How I feel about celery juice is it's not it's not the big panacea that 
they want to make it out to be. And I, I find that whole idea of just this one juice being, I, I find that to be really obnoxious. I'm sorry. You know, all the grains, all the grains. And I want to get some of that fiber in and juicing on a, a, a time, um, it's it's time for that, you know. I mean, Mark's talking about going out of town. I might just pull out my juicer and, and do some green juices for a few days, just to kind of give my body a little bit of a break and bump up the nutrient levels. But I also do it with just juice veggies too. Lots of greens, lots and lots of greens. Anyway, I'm looking forward to meeting you uh, face to face, Lizzie, and having our time together. It's going to be fun. So this is from Layla. Hi, Leanne, I'm not sure where to take questions, uh, blah, blah, blah. I have a question regarding silicon reusable bags for things like in my refrigerator and freezer. I want to be careful as possible with food safety. What things do I need to look out for? And she's asking about, you know, plastic things and all of that. So, you know, a lot of times people will ask, well, is that a safe, um, Jamma, the meditation app that I use is called Brain.fm. So that, and I like it. Um, so what I'm going to say to you about, about all of this is silicon is, um, it's better than say Ziploc baggies or whatever. Um, but you know what I, I'm trying to turn into using all mason jars. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to be making that sh uh, shift and getting rid of all my plastic. I, ha I still have Ziploc bags and what have you. I use them on occasion, but whatever. But you know, silicon has a very low recyclability rate. And as a matter of fact, it's um, usually turned into an industrial lubricant after it's done. It's still plastic, you know, um, for whatever they want to say. Um, it also has uh, silosans. It's S I O L. X-A-N-E-S, I hope I'm saying that right, but that the chemical structure of that is it's an endocrine and fertility disruptor. At least this is what some of my research um, points to. And I would rather be safe rather than sorry. So while silicone bags might be better than using, you know, three million Ziploc bags, I say use a jar, <laughs> you know, use a, use a mason jar. Um, they work great and they recycle over and over again. So I'm just, you know, I'm just not, I'm not really keen on all of that. So, all right, let's see. This is from Maureen and she said, just wondering how water gets to your house when you live on top of the mountain. I'm a city slicker in Sydney and I'm grateful I can turn, what did she say here? Oops, I lost it. Um, I can turn on the faucet and get drinkable, lovely water. So, I live on top of a mountain and we have a well. We have a well and believe it or not, it is an artesian well. Isn't that great? Yes, Letha's asking about ju juicing does take out the fiber. Sometimes it's good for a nutrient dump and the fiber doesn't uh, mess around with that and it's okay to take the fiber out. And there's a big discussion I can do on, fi on juicing and what have you. As a matter of fact, Josh Axe, if you guys know who he is, he and I did a big juicing webinar years ago. I've known jo Josh for years and years. And yes, we recognize that the fiber gets pulled out, but sometimes you just need the juicing. So um, anyway, where was I on this whole thing? So the water is, is, is we, are on, we have an artesian well, an artesian well, which means it's fed by an artesian spring. Super clean, we had it tested when we walked in, when we walked in the house, you know, the first thing that we did. Um, is test the water and make sure it's clean. No nothing in it, no <clears throat> bacterial or anything, but we also have a filter that we change um, every few months downstairs, it's you know in the basement. And I put it through my Berkey just to keep it clean. But we have plenty of water, not the greatest water pressure, I'm not gonna lie, but it's great, you know, water. We can turn on the faucet too, we're not, <laughs> we're not in trouble. Okay, this is gonna be a good one, you guys. And tell me if you can relate to this. If you can relate to this, send the hearts. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anonymous, and I am a secret eater. Mostly I eat secretly when my husband and I are in a rough patch. I eat to comfort myself and to rebel against his judgment of my junk food likes, which are different than his junk food likes, and he doesn't consider his junk food. <laughs> of course. Now that I can admit it, 
how do I change this long struggle? I know it's a bad habit when I'm down in the dumps anyway, and the carousel ride seems enticing. Thank you for all you do. Okay, so let's see. Do you receive what? Speaking of water, do you recommend drinking? I don't live in a well. I recommend that nobody buys water in a plastic bottle ever. That's what I recommend. Now I have some in my, uh, so they're asking what kind of water I recommend. I use a big Berkey. That's what I use. It's a Berkefeld water filtration system. You can find them on Amazon. I should probably start carrying them. I love them. Um, if I can find a good water, a good, good water system that works well, as good as a Berkey, um, that I can promote that is, that's, you know, highly reliable. Cause we did promote one for a while there that I had wasn't reliable. So anyway, but I do like the Berkfeld and the Berkfeld holds the test of time. It's been around since World War II and it has good filters. I use the carbon and the clay filters. I've got both in there. It takes out everything. It takes out fluoride, chlorine, um, pharmaceuticals that are found in the water. Really good stuff. Um, one thing is the little plastic uh, nozzle thing broke when we were moving and to get it, you know, this is the only bad thing I'll ever say about the Brookfield people. They wanted like $40 or some ridiculous amount of money for this little tap. Well, my son-in-law had also, they'd broken theirs in their move because I gave them one. That was one of my wedding gifts that I gave them was a, a Brookfield. And uh, so I just bought one for five bucks off of Amazon and it's a stainless one. So just know that, you know, there's ways, little parts around there. You take it apart once a month and you clean it with a, a scotch guard thing, you know, and just let it air dry, wash, no soap. You scrub, scrub the filters and I put the whole thing, except the filters, in the dishwasher. Let it get clean and sanitized, put the whole thing out in the sun, and then I start over with the water. Good stuff, really good stuff. Now, who wants to dig in on secret eating? Anyone? <laughs> Okay, so let me just say you are among friends anonymous and I understand about secret eating um, You know peanut M&Ms was my drug of choice. I understand about uh, Stuffing to feel better about yourself. I understand all of it now What's involved here is there's a pattern right you see the pattern because you're you're pushing back on your husband You're pushing back on his you know his words against you um so here's the thing, you have to make a decision for yourself on what it is that you want. And when you make a decision for yourself what it is that you want, like truly want, and if you're done with this pattern, even though the carousel of crazy does seem enticing, when you're wanting all of that stuff, right? When you're wanting all that garbage, and then what you have to do is you have to look at the fact that that is only temporary and what holds on and what is is really going to take you the distance is the inflammation from eating that garbage the guilt the remorse the regret of going there and that's part of the carousel of crazy because we have this whole thing this whole brain thing that goes on i want it i want it i want it oh you're going to say that to me now i really want it because you are a complete jerk and now i'm going to anger eat I'm gonna soothe myself. I'm gonna comfort myself. Um, we have, you know, and we call ourselves stress eaters. We call ourselves emotional eaters. We call ourselves all of that. And I wanna just take everybody who ever called themselves any kind of a fill in the blank eater, take that out of your vocabulary because I promise you, stress will come. So what does that mean? I am an emotional eater, so here, or I am a stress eater, so here comes the stress, so that means here comes the, you know, the permission slip to go eat like that. Let's take that out of the equation and start putting into the place so that we can get our mind around this that I am an I eat in order to feed my body, mind and soul. That looks a whole heck of a lot different than the junk junk food section at the, your local Walmart, doesn't it? Because that stuff has damage written all over it. We all know this. This is not new stuff. And I want to get you to this place, though, of, of having a mindset that serves you instead of gives you permission to go off the rails. Because when we go off the rails like that, 
it just makes us feel worse and we keep doing it and it is an incessant cycle it goes around and around and let me just say this how does a merry-go-round stop does it get to a destination no round and around and around and around and around and around there is no destination there's no destination it's the cycle and it sucks us down and we feel bad we feel worse as we go so here's here's what I look at we need to address emotional we need to address it physiological and we also need to address it in a community and this is why I say community is so important without a community without support it's hard to get past it but I would also advise you use L-glutamine use that as your first line of defense this is what's going on. I have this whole emotional thing. I feel so terrible. I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this, this whole thing, but I've got this huge craving. I'm obsessed with eating Doritos or whatever, you know, the junk food is that you, you want to get into. And then have that L-glutamine, put that on there. Have a minute, five minutes to yourself of just meditating on the fact that you don't have to go there. You have a choice. And each time you do this, it will get easier. Have a body clutter buddy. Reach out and just say, here it is. This is my situation. This is what's going on. Can you give me a word? That one word is everything. It is a lifeline and it will help. Now, it takes a minute because you didn't get there overnight either. You know, it's we have tipping points. All of us do. And that tipping point leads us to this place of feeling like, this is never going to end and what am I going to do? And we become hand wringers, right? I can emotionally unplug now because I make the choice to do so. I recognize what this pattern is. And so can you recognize what the pattern is when he goes into his thing, instead of giving the familiar response, just say, okay, you know, cool. And just say, you know, we're not going to talk about this. Or, or we're not going to talk about your stuff either and let's just you know let's just leave it alone now the reason this is the one thing though too that I don't know of like you know what is your what what's your relationship with your husband like I mean is is he like a jerk or is he is he emotionally abusive or um, whatever I mean I, I don't know what this is but you change a long struggle like this with doing something different than you keep doing. Your conversation with your husband needs to change. Your, your, um, your response to what you're gonna do needs to change. And you need to write it out. You need to use all the tools. Use your journaling, use your meditation, use a lifeline by calling a friend. And decide that you've had enough. Because when we come to this place and make this decision that we've had enough, funny enough, we end up changing things up. We end up not going there anymore. And while we may not do it perfectly at first, if we keep trying and we keep going, we will find ourselves in the position of making better choices and getting things going in the direction we wanna go. So, yeah, Cynthia's right. She said, I don't know if someone already said this, but you're not hurting your husband, you're hurting yourself. Well, of course. Um, but we do this and we justify it with you know, how our our spouses are, are, you know, handling things and what they're saying to us and everything. And so there's the justification, but the justification doesn't, doesn't, you know, it doesn't play out because at the end of the day, it's only, it's hurting you in the body clutter department. And it's also hurting you emotionally. And it's making this, it's that spiral. That's why I say it's the carousel of crazy. The carousel of crazy goes nowhere. It doesn't get you to any destination at all that you wanna go on. And the only way to get off of it is to unplug it. And my whole thing is I not only wanna unplug the carousel of crazy, I wanna kick it down the hill and burn it. Because it has taken up too much time in our heads, taken too much time of our lives, and it has taken up um, a lot of space and a lot of heartache. And it's nothing but injury, nothing but injury. So think about that and make some decisions for yourself that are supportive of what it is you want. Start with the L-glutamine, start with the conversation, get yourself a body clutter buddy and make a decision for yourself that this is not the path that you want. It's not gonna be perfect. 
You're not gonna do it perfectly every time, but you're one step closer to making a decision that's gonna help you to get off of this darned carousel of crazy and get away from it all. And I'll tell you what, the women that I counsel, the women that I have coached, that I coach, I mean, we're all in this together. We've all done this. This is not, you know, and you call yourself anonymous, but you don't need to be anonymous about this. We all confess it. You know, I am an addicted eater. I love to go that way, but I also know what it's going to look like more than halfway down that hill. Once I go there, it's going to get ugly and I don't want the ugly. So look and focus on what the end result's going to look like and make a different decision. That's all you can do. Line up your physiological tools with your L-glutamine. That'll help big time. It cuts. You've seen me. I've done this. Look, this is it. You put it on your finger, gums, teeth, tongue, cuts off the desire and, and the addictive behavior. And it, and it just shuts that part of your brain down, which is what we want. And it will give you a minute so that you can start making empowered decisions all right and just know you are not alone I, I will probably tell you we've got 90 some people here right now live we had 114 earlier I bet you any of them would hold up their hands and say hey honey I'm with you because they've done it too and we do it we all have a different pattern but the, nonetheless the pattern is the same just maybe you know might look different might be a different trigger whatever we know what this looks like but there are ways to battle it, and I just went through them all for you. So I hope that helped you. All right, where are we? Margo. In just a minute, Margo, I'll get there. <laughs> and listen, let's give Anonymous um, some pinkies. You know, pinkies up, Anonymous. We're all in it together with you. You don't need to be ashamed. You just need to be empowered and understand that, you know, love can cover a multitude of sins. Love can help us to get past it. And the recognition that this is something that's going on inside of us takes the power out of it. Watch that. Yeah. All right. Uh, Margo says, is there any problem with sprinkling any of the supplements I take in my smoothie or oatmeal? So far, I take CalMag, Digestime, and Fiber Mender. Take Digestime 15 minutes before you eat. Take Fiber Mender with a meal and you can sprinkle your Calmex if you want to. Um, yeah, you could do digest signs in a, in a glass maybe and drink it beforehand. I don't, blah, I don't know what that will taste like, but yeah, you can do that. Um, how many scoops of fiber mender do I recommend? One, and build up to that. If you don't have a tolerance for a high fiber diet um, and, you're, and you're new to fiber and add additional fiber, you know, just start with half, by the end of the week, you should get up to a full scoop and let that go. All right, this is from Tanya, and she said, my mom has been diagnosed with cancer of the cervix and womb. I'm wondering what advice you have from a nutritional standpoint that I can pass to my mom and help her in her fight against the cancer. She does not smoke or drink and is otherwise healthy besides the cancer diagnosis. Oh, Tanya, I'm so sorry. Um, here's, here's what I know about cancer. Cancer loves sugar because sugar helps it to create a structure. Cancer has its, when it's, you know, when it, when it creates, when it creates its, you know, cancer cells are in our bodies and we're constantly getting rid of them. Did you know that? We're, we always have cancer cells in our bodies. But if you are an inhospitable host, I love that because it just makes me think, mm -mm. Uh, no, you're not gonna be spending the night at my house, get out of here. But if you are an, um, looking at, so how do we do that? We get rid of the sugar, we get rid of and keep it as low carb as possible. We are using good fiber in our diets so that we can keep the motility going, you know, and keep keep the body from, from holding um, fast to those kind of, um, all those toxins that we're, you know, we're, we're constantly processing toxins. We live in a toxin, toxic world and those toxins come in when we breathe. Those toxins come in when we eat and drink and that's how we have to do it. Um, so here's the, here's the thing that you, you need to be looking at. And I don't know what stage she is. I don't know if there's, you know, surgery involved, but what we need to do 
is we need to make sure that the diet is on point. I would say there's green in every meal. So spinach in a smoothie, I would be doing bone broth to help that that helps with the healing. I would be doing, basically the hot melt sprint would be really good for a cancer patient. As far as the supplements are concerned, I would do, be doing collagen, I would be doing, again, the fiber mender, I would be doing InfluCrusher for sure, maybe a couple of times a day, and no sugar whatsoever, no alcohol, keeping everything smooth, keeping a good meditative practice, and making sure that you know the vegetables and everything are on point. Now, as far as any kind of berries or any kind of fruit or anything like that, on occasion, but again, we don't want to give sugar anything to put, you know, to basically lay claim to. What happens with cancers? It builds its own structures. You know, there, there's, it's got its own blood vessels. It's got its own. It, there's a whole. You can see it on a scan. I saw it on my mom's scan. My mom had lung cancer back in the early '90s, and you know, it didn't look good. And guess what? She, she outlived them. I worked with her though. I worked with her back then and her whole diet and everything that I did was all about that. All about that. And making sure that you were taken care of and everything was on point. She hydrated correctly. She had, um, God, there's a, there's a tea. What was the name of that tea for cancer? Hold on. It's a uh, tea for cancer. I'll find it. Essiac tea, that's the one. E S S I A C. So it's Renee Cassé is the one who brought this tea together, and it's Essiac is Cassé backwards, and that's what I did. That's that's what I did. I had my I made that tea for my mother every single day, and I had her drink that. Now, will it work? Does it have the science behind it, or whatever? It sure has a lot of interesting things behind it. There's been a, there's been a few things um, on it, but you know, again, mainstream is not going to get all behind that. But I would say, if that were me, I'd be all over that like white on rice because this is the thing that helps getting rid of the sugar, keeping the fiber up, making sure there are green things. And you know, the other thing that I would do is, um, as far as protein, making sure that the protein is organic. Um, pasture raised, you know, none of the chemicals, none of the chemicals, very, very, very ultra clean diet and lots of meditation and lots of peace, sleeping when necessary. And if she's going to go through any kind of um, surgery or whatever, I, bone broth, bone broth, bone broth and, and collagen smoothies all day long because that helps for the healing. Okay. And you know what? Praying for you, Tanya, and your mom, and, and bless you, and I know you're gonna take good care of her. All right, last question. Jane said, I so appreciate the webinar to reinforce and remind me of all you've taught me that I'm striving to do. My only medical condition is a mild osteoporosis. I took to heart what you said about the research that we need to do a one-to-one -one ratio of calcium magnesium rather than the two-to-one, and ordered yours and the D. I've been taking Yarrow Bone Up with many minerals, including vitamins too. I don't know that supplement. Does the new ratio make the calcium more absorbable? Yes. <laughs> Hence needing for fuller, fewer milligrams. I believe so. Whoops, I don't know what that was about. Um, I believe so, and I believe that's the thing that's gonna make all the, you know, all the difference in the world. Um, she said she's been taking 1,000 milligrams per day, resulting in a slight gain in bone density. Or do I need to take two servings per day for you? I would, I would possibly take two servings a day, and I would also, a couple things I would do, you see behind me, that's my rebounder right there. I would do a rebounder as well. Rebounders help with osteoporosis and osteopenia. I would also look at doing bands or um, any kind of exercise that's gonna help like that. Um, any kind of a resistant exercise helps a lot. Bands, uh, weight training, and all of that, but all of these things are what help you out. Same with the bone broth. Bone broth, get it? <laughs> Same with the collagen. It all helps to build bone, a clean diet, and just, you know, keep it up. Keep doing the same things. And this is the thing that makes all the difference in the world, and it keeps us women um, from falling and not being able to get up off the floor, you know. That's my mother. Uh, I got a phone call saying your mother had fallen. 
She broke her hip and she was gone within a week. So it's really important that we get on top of that. And that's it. We did it in an hour, you guys. How do you like that? I so appreciate you all. And I thank you for sharing our message and for sharing this Q&A. And if there's any way that I can help you, by surely, surely reach out and say, hey, I, I have a question. And just don't forget, it's support at savingdinner.com. Question for Leanne on Friday. And I'm happy to help you out next Friday. You will be on the list for sure. Our Get Lean CLA is flying out the door. You're gonna want this, especially if you're dealing with belly fat. The studies are incredible showing how it helps us to metabolize, especially belly fat. By three, we'll put the fourth one in for you free. And don't forget, ships free goes in the promo window and we will ship it out free for you. Guess what we'll do? And maybe you'll get a cup too. Take care and thank you so much, so much for showing up. And and thank you, Lizzie, you are so welcome. And I'm so excited and looking forward to uh, coaching you personally and anybody else who has joined our Take Back Your Life program. You guys are the best. Uh, if you have any questions for me, don't forget, you know how to get a hold of me. Peace out.